Hey everyone, welcome to January Happy Hours. Um, thank you so much for being here. I am Sharon from our customer marketing team and I am here with Kelsey from our ecosystem team. And we are super excited because we have four marketplace partners here with us today to present their JIRA and analytics um, reporting apps. So our guests today are Becky Schwartz from Old Street Solutions presenting custom chart for JIRA reports. We have Eduardo from MindPro presenting MindPro Insights, custom charts and reports for JIRA and JSM. We have Ivan from AppFire presenting Dashboard Hub for JIRA. And we have Vova from Screenful presenting analytics and reports. Um, super excited to have everyone here. Here's how this will work if you have never been to an app yours before. Um, so each of our guests will have around five minutes to demo their apps. And at the end of all four demos, we'll give everyone a chance to ask questions and learn about the apps or just clarify any functionality. And then um, we'll have a couple minutes for everyone to vote on their favorite, the crowd favorite, um, which will be crown the best app demo for January. And then um, after that, we'll have some time if you wanna ask um, the app vendors any questions or just um, next steps on getting started or if you have use case questions. So um, it should be a great time. Uh, it's always really fun. So let's just jump right in. Um, so first up we have Becky. Um, are, you, are you ready Becky to kick things off? Yes, I sure am. Awesome, go for it. Cool. Let's see. Okay, can everyone see my screen okay? Hello. Great. Hello. Cool. Perfect. All right, hi everyone, my name is Becky and I will be your bartender today slash I'm also the head of customer education for custom charts. And so just a quick intro about us, we make um, JIRA gadgets and also confluence macros that help you to enhance your JIRA reporting and to do it quickly and easily and beautifully. Um, so what I'm going to show you today is we've collected a little bit of data around some old street solutions happy hour favorites, including cocktails and snacks. We put that in a JIRA and we built some really great reports to demonstrate that for y'all. So. All of these gadgets on this dashboard are custom charts gadgets. Um, it does ship with a couple of different ones. This one right here is our issue list gadget, and it just allows you to display your JIRA data as columns on a list, essentially, with your different columns representing fields around your JIRA data. So you're seeing right here our cocktail menu. We've got our different cocktails and then some custom fields that we've created to list the ingredients as well as the price of those cocktails. And if you're like me and you really like a cheap drink, what you can do with this issue list gadget is you can sort the drinks by their price. So I like the cheapest drinks. I've got this nice little margarita so I can save some money on that. Um, what you're also seeing on our dashboard are our two, these are the same gadget, but this is our main gadget here where you build out these reports, the custom charts gadget. Um, so this right here is a funnel chart that is showing our favorite drinks at Old Street. Of course, we really like our beer, so that is the top drink over here, but it's in the shape of a margarita glass or a martini glass, whichever you prefer. And you can see that you can really customize this to get it to look exactly how you want it to look with, um, with the data. Then over here, we have a 2D stack bar chart. So you can use 2D charts in custom charts. And this one is just representing the different cocktails that we like, and it's sliced and diced by the ingredients in those cocktails. So what's super cool about this is we actually have another gadget on this dashboard called Simple Search, and it uh, allows you to dynamically filter any charts that you link it to. So I've got these filters up here. These are custom filters that I made and they're gonna allow me to see my cocktails by their ingredients. So I'm a gin girl, this is some gin right here. So I really wanna see the cocktails that have gin in them. So what I can do is I can come to simple search up here, click gin and it updates this chart to only show me the cocktails with gin as one of the recipes. Um, so yeah, it's a great way to dynamically filter any gadgets on the dashboard and really get what you're looking for out of the data. All right, so I'm going to quickly craft a cut custom chart gadget for y'all. Um, we actually polled everybody at custom charts and, or Old Street and asked them what their favorite happy hour snacks are. So I'm going to build a, a pie chart to represent that data. 
So this is our custom charts gadget in edit mode. It's really straightforward to configure. You could do this in under a minute, really, if you wanted to, but I'm gonna walk through some of the pieces here quickly just to show you what everything does. Um, so first, what you're gonna do is set the source of the gadget, and that's just telling custom charts which JIRA data to pull in. You have a couple of options here. This one is if you want to dynamically filter the gadget, you can absolutely tie it to a simple search gadget and do that. But I'm actually gonna pull in a save filter today. Um, I made one for our happy hour snacks. So I'm gonna pull it in and there will be 20 issues that get represented on this chart. You can switch up your chart type if you want to, but I'm gonna to stick to the pie chart today. And I'm gonna now tell it with this chart by dropdown how I want it to slice and dice my JIRA data that I'm pulling in over here. So I have a lot of options here. I can do custom JQL if I do want to get advanced with it, but I actually have a custom field in the instance that I used specifically to collect our happy hour data. So I'm going to select that. Now, if you are using other apps too, you can even pull in data from those fields, um, but I built this as just a custom field in the instance. And you can now see, I have this really nice pie chart that shows me our favorite happy hour snacks at Old Street in each slice. We really like our beer and our chicken wings. I mean, they're great happy hour options for us. So what you can even do with this data, if you'd like, is you can change up the color of the segments if you want to. You can group segments as well. You also can, in this legend over here, you can adjust this. And right now we're just seeing a count of issues, but let's say you were collecting also the cost of each of these snacks. You could display that as a column as well, the average cost for each snack or the total cost for each snack. So just know that's an option too. So I'm gonna give this a title and I'm gonna click save and it's done. I've built the gadget out. I've got a really nice report that took me very little time at all. And now I have a full dashboard of all of our favorite happy hour snacks and drinks at Old Street. So, and custom charts. So thanks for watching and y'all have a great rest of your day. That's it. <laughs> thanks, Becky. Um, that was amazing. I love that you can bring in um, <laughs> custom, uh, yeah, custom filters. I think that's awesome. Um, next up, we have Eduardo, and let me go ahead and make them a co-host. Um, but are you ready to um, follow up, Eduardo, with your demo? Okay, yeah, go ahead. Um, I think you might also be muted still. You're on mute. All right, listening right now? Okay, so thanks everyone for joining. My name is Eduardo Oliveira and CEO and co-founder of MindPro Apps. We are a marketplace partner building cloud apps uh, for this ecosystem. And today we will show you guys uh, our latest app, which is MindPro Insights, Charts, uh, Dashboards and reports for Jira. So thanks for the invitation and it's a real pleasure to be with you guys. Let me share my screen. You can see my screen right now? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay. Cool. So uh, basically, MindPro Insights, it's a cloud-based app. Uh, just a quick introduction before we jump in the app. So uh, we built this app because uh, directly from uh, uh, our team pain, uh, because we noticed that dashboards and status report uh, very often are purely static reports. And several times before joining uh, um, a team meeting, uh, providing a status report for stakeholders, we want to drill down our data, uh, refine our search, uh, better uh, have a, a better information very quickly uh, instead of rebuilding all the gadgets, all the uh, dashboards, just to have a deep analysis and have a better insight to share with the team. So that's why we built this tool to be a more dynamic uh, alternative when thinking about Jira dashboards and reports. So uh, let me jump to the application. And basically when you guys open the app, the first thing that you guys will see, it's this uh, welcome screen which you can see also 
uh, several filters and search options. Basically, what you guys have right here, it's Jira-like filters, uh, like you are used to, to use in the advanced filters from Jira. You have JQL, the power of JQL to refine your search. And also we have added some special filters like uh, searching specific filters, uh, issues by uh, hierarchy key. You can search by Scrum boards and retrieve all the issues related to the Scrum board and several other filters that we have right here. So basically uh, the main part of this solution, it's, uh, it's related to uh, summary cards, uh, quick information that you need to keep tracking, keep your eye on in the daily basis. And we have the gadgets that you can add in these different dashboards you can build in seconds. And what I mean by seconds, it's that literally you can build a dashboard just by dragging drop these cards and gadgets directly to this canvas. And you have instant visualization according to the filters that we are defining. So for instance, you can choose the project, you can choose data, your dates, and we will have the information being uh, instantly updated right here. Uh, of course, that you can uh, expand this view and add more information as you need. You can add uh, what we call ready for use gadgets, which are pre-loaded gadgets that, that are covering the, maze, the most basic and essential metrics that you need. And you can also have, uh, you can also add the, uh, the full list of issues that you have in your projects. So this way you don't need to leave the screen or uh, have that context switching. You can have the full overview of your metrics and, and list of issues inside uh, your dashboard and have the full overview instantly. So as you guys can see, it's pretty effortless to create these dashboards and of course, to refine the data that you need by simply selecting the options that you need and all the data right here will be adjusted accordingly, including a list of issues that you can see as well. Additionally, you can have uh, all these gadgets are fully interactive. So if you need to drill down your data, you just need to click in any slice or bar and all the gadgets will adjust the information accordingly. So let's pick, for example, right here. I just click it in the Greg. It, they added Greg more dynamic filtering and all the dashboard it's adjusted to this information. And now I want to see the highest issues that Greg has. It's putting together the dynamic filter and you have the data drill down to discuss, to uncover uh, blockers, flagged issues, uh, or anything that is, which is preventing your progress in your projects. So basically uh, we have two different types of uh, gadgets right here. We have the predefined gadgets, which are these ones, the essential gadgets for agile, ITSM and business teams. And also, of course, we have the custom gadgets where you can uh, uh, further refine your data, selecting the specific fields or other uh, different uh, settings for your, for your gadgets. So just to provide a quick example of what you can do, I will show you guys how you can save your, your reports and dashboards. You can simply enter a name. You can add a description to provide more meaningful information, summary, et cetera. You can share with a group, a whole organization and so on. And you can save this information. 
this live information will be accessible for how the team that you share with this dashboard. You can see uh, who is the person which is the owner of this dashboard, uh, who is receiving this dashboard to consume this information, and you can access all the, the dashboards that you have, your dashboard library, without leaving the screen. So basically, you have a sidebar containing all the favorite dashboards that you have, the private dashboard you have, and the uh, uh, shared dashboard views that you receive it. So here, basically, you can have all this information live being shared with your stakeholders, with your teams, and of course, building your reports according to your dashboard needs. Here, just to provide a quick example, you can build a dashboard for agile teams to keep tracking of flow metrics, including leading time, average time status, cycle time, throughput. And this is what I mean by uh, custom charts. You can configure this specific information right here, select specific informations for each one of these gadgets to further refine your data. So, and you see this instantly, of course, and you can drill down this information and you see exactly what you are trying to looking for. And of course, refine this information even after being shared uh, to refine this um, information right here. You have other uh, sample. You have basic scrum metrics like velocity, including committed, completed, the average story points. You can build uh, custom stacked bars and select the specific values that we want to keep tracking, assignee by story points and so on. And of course, you can keep track of your most important uh, sprints, uh, initiatives, epics, including uh, further refinement, including how you want to monitor this progress by issue count, story points, logging, uh, logged hours, and so on. Additionally, you can add more information to these um, dashboards like this type of status right here. So if you want to enter in a daily meeting, a, um, a sprint planning meeting, or any meeting that you need to provide a status update, your manager, stakeholders, leaders uh, can have a, a um, overview of how this dashboard, this initiative, it's currently, so you can pick any selected status right here. You can add a short update, provide a, a short update, and maybe even you can cancel that meeting that it's something that we would like to see more and more. So you can add different types of dashboards. Here are example of uh, ITSM. Uh, you can add issues by component. And uh, as I say, every gadget, you can select the exact few that you want to see, and all this information will be uh, clickable, interactive, and you can play around with different type of, of metrics. Uh, just to provide a quick overview and, and closing this, this presentation, uh, here is an example of what you can do using the single view of the metrics and the list of issues. We added this spe special field right here, which is called hierarchy. So you can filter your uh, issues by entering the issue summary and you can see right here that when you select it by this field, you can click on this and you see the full uh, uh, list of issues in a more detailed way with a structured way. So you can have the full overview of your epics, initiatives, and you have this full breakdown. And of course, everything you can keep track on all. So that's it guys. It's a pretty uh, quick demonstration. Uh, please give it a spin and um, in the app in the marketplace, it's free for uh, up to 10 users. If you have a cloud instance and want a special discount, please get in touch and we, we can make it work. So thank you, everyone. Thank you, Eduardo. Um, next up, we have Ivan from AppFire presenting Dashboard Hub for Jira. Yes, I'm ready. Okay, can you see my dashboard? 
Can yep, you that see that looks it? great. Okay. Yep. Hi, everyone. It's a real pleasure to be here presenting Dashboard Hub for all of you. My name is Ivan Garcia, and I am a product marketing manager for AppFires VA and reporting category of apps. You know, I'm loving to be here, especially because as a marketer, I work with whys instead of what's. And I know you came here to hear whys. So let me tell you a story. Well, exactly two stories. Two stories of success. Erika and Emanuela are two Dashboard Hub customers. Both work in ITSM and use Jira service management, like most of you, to provide with a premium support to their customers. They didn't know each other, but they had the same problem. And what problem was that? They needed a more efficient way for reporting. They were spending too much time creating reports, and all that work used to have dual, poor, and slow reports. Their problem was divided in three separate veins. One, limited visualization. Two, tedious manual work for certain reports. And three, lack of customer transparency. Do you want to know how they started saving more than 150 hours of manual work a year? I don't need more than three minutes to show you. First problem, they couldn't visualize the data they wanted, right? What did they do? They powered up their visualization with events and custom metrics. This right here is an ITCM preview dashboard template, which can be set up in less than a minute. It's a great starting point. From here, you can customize your dashboards with this vast collection of more than 75 original gadgets and plus 10 integrations. For favorites, formula cards, the epic progress, and the scrum velocity. Side note, all these gadgets can be also included in native dashboards. It's hard not to find what you need here, but but there are organizations with very, very specific requirements. For them, we have the most powerful solution, the JQL Custom Charts gadget. It lets you build whatever data display you need with filters or displaying the result of a JQL query, choosing from a large variety of chart types. We can also say that we are the only custom chart solution in the marketplace that lets you add more than one data instance in your dashboards, for example, data center data in a cloud dashboard, that's possible. But you want to see how powerful this is, right? Let me show you. All the gadgets in this dashboard over here are truly the same one. And you can guess, the JQL custom charts gadget. And like this, the first problem was no solved. No more limitations visualizing data for Erika and Emanuela. Second problem, to build reports, they were spending hours and they couldn't share them externally. What did they do? Brace for impact. Here comes the wow moment. Let me show you. Let's take this other dashboard, for example, which is, by the way, our agile predefined template. Here we go. Share icon top right. One, two, and three. I just shared this dashboard with all of you in the chat, and I could have even protected it with a password if I wanted. But do you know how else could Erika and Emanuela share their dashboards with their customers? By making them accessible from the customer portal. And like this, the second problem was no solved. No more tedious reporting for Erika and Emanuela. And related to the third problem, indeed. Customer transparency was rocket high with access to there it is with access to these dashboards, Erika's and Emanuela's customers could now access and export their data whenever they wanted, empowering them to work with their unique requirements. And here is the dashboard you couldn't see. And this is the end of the story. I really hope you liked it. These were just two stories. But imagine how many stories could be told with such a powerful app. We have use cases for DevOps and Agile, but let's leave those for the next time. If you want to try Dashboard Hub, happy news. It's free for 30 days and forever if your team is under 10 users. There is also a version for Confluence and another one for Bitbucket. And you can find it in Atlassian Marketplace, available for cloud, data center, and server. Thank you. Thank you, Ivan.
Um, last but not least, we have Vova from Screenful presenting analytics and reports. All right. Hello, everyone. Um, yes, I'm Vova from Screenful, and today I wanted to show you some of the features that analytics and report, reports has. And basically, like all the other tools, is the tool that helps you make sense of what's going on in your Jira account and kind of get a better grasp of all the data that you might have there. Right. Show my screen. And there. So for a long time, um, analytics was really hard and you would have to export uh, all your Jira data to custom spreadsheets or some really confusing BI tools. And that's why we decided to deal with that problem um, because we were like the customers for us, ourselves and really got the, all the pain that a uh, project manager would have to go through to get the report their higher-ups needed. And so we decided to build the tool ourselves. And the idea was that you can just import all your Jira data into Screenfall and right from, from there, get really a lot of the necessary metrics that are pretty much industry standard right now. That like all the agile metrics, uh, like things uh, that show you information about open items, completed tasks, uh, all the timings, metrics, and also to get forecasts to get a better understanding of like where, where your teams are, or where your projects are headed. So Screenful has a couple of different tabs. First is the insights, which shows you open items, things like open work, breakdown by type. Of course, you can select breakdown not by SNE, but for example, by label, which will show you different data. Um, open items, trend, and uh, also by type. Then there are completed uh, charts that show you completed tasks, so from here, you could, for example, see all the tasks that were recently completed. You can click on the individual tasks and see like their details. And yeah, that's, you can get like a lot of value from there already. Then the, all the tasks that are work from progress, uh, things like cycle time trend and workflow states. And then the forecasts some of our recent additions uh, that get you, like based on your historical performance, you can get, for example, most likely optimistic or pessimistic forecast of where the project will be completed. So this is this all like available to any of you uh, by default or out of the box, just by signing up to Screenful and connecting your uh, Jira board. But of, what if you want some uh, more of a custom solution? Well, in that case, you can use charts, which work like a building blocks for like all your dashboards and reports. So we have a vast uh, library of custom charts that inspired by the customers that use Greenful. Um, we see like uh, all the like important and like in pretty much industry standard uh, metrics and we turn them into a lot of different charts that you can get inspired by and of course any of these charts you can select you can track with just one chart however many data sources or like Jira boards that you have uh, it will be changed based on that and you can configure all those charts to set filters and we have really like deep integrations with Jira here and you can filter out basically anything that that exists like in, in your Jira account. Um, so we already have a lot of different charts here ready made. They all can be uh, sent into a report or to a dashboard. And reports is like a combination of charts. Similarly to charts, we have report templates that are most widely used and you can create your, your own. 
So as an example, let's take a look at uh, some flow matrix report. And it already has some existing charts. You can create this report, go to the editor. The reports are drag and drop. So you can easily um, put any content you want in it. And in addition to charts, it also has uh, text blocks. Um, you can have any of the charts that you have in your library or any of the template charts to your reports. And when you're happy with that, with the report, uh, you can share it with a link. So it can be either a private link for people who are joining your Screenflow account or a public link, in which case anyone with this link could see the report. Uh, reports can be downloaded as PDF and also scheduled to be, deli uh, to be delivered on a weekly, daily, bi-weekly or monthly basis so at any time in PDF or CSV to anyone that you want via email or to a Slack channel if you connect up. And th there are so much more uh, that I could talk about Screenful, but yeah, I guess that would be it. And really, Happy to be here. Thank you all for attention and happy hour. Thank you. Thank you, Vova. Um, thank you so much, everyone. Those are amazing apps and so much cool functionality. Um, before we cast our votes for best app demo, does anyone have any questions that they would like clarification on that would impact your vote? Feel free to ask now. <laughs> can we vote for all of them? You can in spirit, but you must choose one in the Zoom, <laughs> in the Zoom quiz. All righty. Um, so I just launched our uh, quiz. Um, so please poll for the best app demo of this month, and we will crown them very soon. All right, 10 more seconds if you haven't gotten your vote in. All righty. So we have a tie. <laughs> Congrats to both Becky and Ivan for your presentations. And um, congratulations to everyone for taking the time to prepare these demos. I know it takes a lot of work. So um, thank you so much to all of our presenters and to everyone in the audience today who has taken the time their time to spend with us and to share your presence with us and just learn about these apps. Um, all of our demo participants will receive our Appy Hours badge on your Atlassian community profile. And then we will also publish um, a recap and the recording next week in our apps and integrations room on the Atlassian community. 
Um, one special announcement in terms of um, cadence, we were doing these roughly every month, but we will be moving them to every quarter. So we're hoping to have bigger groups, um, a little bit more spread out, and then kind of just have a little bit more time in between to prepare everything and get them ready. So um, if we um, have any more questions for our presenters, uh, feel free to stay on. Um, but if not, we um, are totally done. So thank you so much. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Thanks, y'all. Thanks, all.